What's up everybody, FSC Trucking. Just getting going over here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's Tuesday afternoon, and I'm sick again. I got sick again Sunday into Monday. I unloaded Monday. But we're gonna push on regardless. Can't sit here and wanna cry about it all day, right? We're at the Loves. Waiting on CR England to get back in. So I can leave. like I almost forgot to release my park brake. You guys forgot to hit that like and subscribe. Go and get that done. Let's go. Alrighty, we're underway. Oh no, we're over eight and a half mile an hour on my e-log trip. Oh wait, what e-log? Never mind. I get so annoying I'm watching these guys in the truck stop and they just creepy crawl everywhere they go in the truck stop now go to the parking spot to get fuel. They just creep at idle speed. I get it. Guys got to do what you got to do, but damn. It's pretty ridiculous nowadays. Uh, this place is a crap shell. Flying cane, no better. Got his Taylor Swift flags on his truck. Come on, easy on the throttle, don't waste the coal. Don't waste the coal. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. So what we're doing is we're going uh we're going to Burger, Missouri, picking up a combine, taking it up to Hatley, Wisconsin. I just got the big part of it. I don't have the, there's no, there's no head on it. So it's only gonna be like nine feet wide. So it's only gonna be like nine feet wide. So it did not wide at all. And I got pretty decent money on it considering where it's coming from and where it's going. But I got deadhead a thousand miles to get there. All right, roll that beautiful cold footage. and the Flying J are on the west side of town on 40. And it's a pretty scenery going into Albuquerque. Now the GoPro I'm talking to you guys on, I broke it. I must have flicked my seatbelt and the clip landed on the glass face of it and broke it. And it worked still, even though the lens was cracked, not the lens, the, the screen on the back was cracked, but then the last two, the two pieces of video, the SD card got screwed up somehow, so I don't know if the GoPro screwed it up or just an SD card took a crap, I don't know. So if you guys don't hear me talking, I put a music bed over it. video. It 
next uh, next morning. So the process is you edit it, and then it takes a whole bunch of pieces from a whole bunch of clips and puts it into one. That process is called exporting. It's exporting now. Why it's called that, I don't know. Ask someone else. After that, when the video is done in one big file, then you upload it to YouTube. I'll have to do that when I get parked. That one lone guy out there in a kick tent. That's just one more back here. Her bike trails and homeless people. It's like in a car way out in there. Yeah, that's why I wouldn't even go to the TA. The TA used to be real bad. Last time I was out here at the TA, it was long before COVID. So that was before COVID season and before riot season. And now it's open season. So I that TA was absolutely atrocious back then with vagrants and drug dealers and all kind of problems in there. So I can't imagine what it's like staying in there now. I'll just go up the hill, a little more peaceful up there, I guess. I'm really hoping that crap changes one day, I really do.
taking it. I don't know how he's gonna haul it. The truck was full of me.
load, excavator going the other way, had a set of straight pipes on it, sounded like coming out and rattle his jinx. I thought it sounded good.
What's that? The how you doing that? Oh yeah. It's a little bit of a process. You don't skip leg day, that's for sure. What's up everybody, FSC Trucking. We're getting ready to load up that there combine. No head. Just the combine itself, take it up to Hatley, Wisconsin. Be the first one of these I've ever pulled, so be a learning experience. See the hands that are familiar with this. Get your hate comments on deck, because here we go. Oh, I'll just stick him in the hole. Yeah. You could have got him on for me? Yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh, sweet. You want to pick the hole? That's all we need. He said, well, all we have on there is about half a tire. Like, that's all we need. We need strikers with less. He's on the highway a little. Where you at? Hang on. Yeah, bring him this way to you. Oh yeah. Well, now I know where he's at. This way to the Probably covered the steel by about an inch, I'm thinking. Oh, you're Gucci. Perfect. There we are. Call that good right there. Right there? That's right. good. That looks good, looks. Yeah, if the weight's about even, I'd call yeah. out a day. What do you think? No, it's a little heavier on the front, but not much. Right. It's, it's heavy every year. What's the total weight on it, you know? What? What's the total weight on it, you know? Give or take? 15, 18,000. That's it? No, it's just bold. It's yeah, it's a lot of. A lot of empty in the middle. No way, it's oh. Over 20. oh, can that suck in any? Is that all it goes? There you go. All right, that's, that's good. That'll work. All right. I'll put the uh, I'll put the feeder house down. Yeah, put the header down. And 
they're stingy on the tie down points, ain't they? <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yippee. All right, well, hopefully he knows how to work it in Hatley. <laughs> when, uh, when you get up there with this thing, it starts, it starts good if it's started in the last two to three days. Right. Uh, if, it, if it's much longer than that, gets a little air in the fuel system, just give her full throttle and crank the shit out of it, and in about 30 seconds, it'll start. Okay. But it should, like, if you went to restart it right now, it'd fire it'll right It'll be off. tomorrow afternoon or uh, Saturday. It should be fine, but All in right. case scenario, you can, you can just, uh, just crank the shit out. So, this like thing, the front axle up here, let's see here. So if you look, you've got some real good points right here. Uh-huh. Do you see those? Yeah. Yeah. You got one of those on each side. Okay. Multiple different directions you can tie. All right. So that's a good place. Um, and also in the back, you've got this right oh, here. Oh, plenty of beef. Okay. That's, right here. That's good, good meat right there. So, All right. Yeah. Excellent. So you're back here and up there, you can't hardly hurt it. So. Gotcha. Yes, sir. All right. Good deal. All right. If you need something else, holler. I left the keys in the ignition. All right. The manual's in the cab, laying on the floor. So. Excellent. Here, let's shut that hood. This hole didn't latch the hood. That you don't need flying up. No. There we go. All right. And that side one is shut. shut. This guy. We'll go ahead and latch her up. So she doesn't fly all the way. Woohoo! This one's the same. There you go. I think she's buttoned up, man. Alright, good deal. You chain her down, and I think she'll stay right there. If you need something, holler. Will do. You, uh,. You might want to chain it before you back oh, yeah. onto it because the parking brakes nor the brakes work on any of these old combines. So she's just sitting there. She's in gear. The hydro's engaged. Right. If you started rocking her. Yeah, I'm just going to get the neck bit. close because I got my chains on the neck. Yep, yep. And then I'll tie her down right there. It, it yeah, takes it's... a lot to make her move, but she's not, she's not sitting there with the parking brake on. So. Yeah, sometimes you get a little wild picking them up too. Excellent, appreciate it. First, let's see what kind of tie downs we have under here. You show me something up under. I didn't see it. Oh, right here. All kinds of spots. That's good beef right there. I don't have to wrap the axle, so that's good. So it's basically the attach point for the head right there. All right, so we got room to hook right in this pocket. That's just dirt in there, all right? So we'll stretch it. I like stretching it. What I mean by stretching is you pull it, instead of pulling in, like that you pull it apart in other words you collapse it or you draw and quarter it like you're torturing it see if i can leave them there and remember them that's the next trick uh, subscribers uh equipment the uh we did a subscriber street sweeper right after new year's I haven't used these since. So they're pretty rusty, even sitting in the snow and ice and salt, they're not being used. So we're gonna oil them up now. That was a week after New Year's. So 
so it's been over believe it or not it's been over a month since we've used these binders which is odd let's go ahead and catch that Oh, that goes up. All right. I'll have to figure out a way to secure that. In an upward position. Better off the longer chains in the back. I think. Yeah, I do have two chains length. One's longer, one's shorter. My sunglasses blew off the trailer already. Look at that. That's where the frame meets itself, so. Yeah, it takes virtually no power to make it roll backwards. It's like you said. Thank <laughs> you. 
reason why we're not going to cross them because this beef right here also keeps it nice and tight against here as a good backstop should I have to hit the brake and try to go forward. Apparently the brakes on this thing ain't work piss. Now oftentimes I normally just grab like this, but because we're pulling more forward than more in, I like to get a hook around the pockets down here if I can. Less likely of a hook to side shear or pop out. That's why I do that. why you don't wrap your hand around the bar. I would have just punched the trailer. Open hand push. I know I say that a lot, but not everybody watches each and every video. You should. If you haven't, you need to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see when I do more of this stuff. girl she's tied down ready to rock we got two chains on the very back like I said and up front we got two more chains so now we just got to go ahead and reattach the trailer See? there we go now we just got to reattach the gooseneck to the trailer and get on down the line with this alrighty we could do this with the wind not knocking my camera over Whee! <laughs> 